As catfish diminish, we hope to create insect diversity and detect more amphibians and native fish species such as whitefish, squawfish, and sunfish. Bullhead catfish stir up the pond bottom and create a muddy and turbid environment that reduces light for aquatic plants. Bullhead catfish are tough survivors and can live on land for hours. The herpetology hotspots for the ranch along this edge and the sedge, a walk in the hope of getting a garter, and I saw a few little toads here last week. Here, you can see how small and camo they are. So he started out in a knot of probably 400, and there's only a few left. What you want is a larger breeding event, so you get a large congregation, and then several hundred will make it, but when you only have like two small breeding events, then there's only a few dozen will make it to the end of the first year. So this job is a lot more fun than being a professor, I'll readily admit. This job, I just get to be a kid. Flip a couple things in. Matt flips logs around the pond and looks for garter snakes. So I just try to do is spook one out of the grass if there's one in there. This oh, log there's... contains one small deer mouse that scurries into the grass. That's what I see mostly, deer mice. <laughs> the terrestrial garter snake or the wandering garter snake we have here, there's, it's about a four to one wandering garter to common. And the common have the red dots on the side. It's a warning color to most species. Bullfrogs, I think, just see them easier. And they'll kind of just probably zoom right by a big bullfrog and then wham. And so it's really our young snakes that get taken out before they're sufficient size. 